Good morning. After having food, we made some meals yesterday, and then we went to go to sleep. So today we'll be exploring Hampi, totally. Just now got up at 5:55, getting freshen up, and then going out. So it is 6:20 in the morning, and I'm all set and ready to go to Hampi. और है हमारा डोसा और चटनी फॉर द ब्रेकफास्ट सो वी आर एट द फर्स्ट स्पॉट नाउ सी सी वे कालू गणपति टेम्पल इट्स अ मोनोमेटिक काव टेम्पल गणपति स्ट्रक्चर वे ओनली वन स्टोन वॉज यूज टू जस्ट काव कैसी हो गई Sasi Vikalu Ganesh Temple is a huge statue of Lord Ganesha carved out of a single block of rock. It is one of the major landmarks in Hampi. Sasi Vikalu Ganesh is about 8 feet that is 2.5 meters tall. The inscription on the statue is as old as 1500 AD and says that this statue was erected in memory of the king Narasimha II of the Vijayanagara Empire. This temple and the statue is indeed one of the finest specimens of Indian sculptures. So the second one, the largest monolith structure in Hampi, which is the Narasimha Avatar carving. The Lakshmi Narasimha statue and the temple housing the statue were built in the year 1528 AD. It was constructed during the rule of Krishna Devaraya, one of the greatest rulers of the Vijayanagara Empire. The temple is dedicated to Lord Narasimha, one of the ten avatars of Lord Vishnu and Goddess Lakshmi. As such, the temple is known as the Lakshmi Narasimha Temple. The original sculpture had a small figure of Goddess Lakshmi, consort of Narasimha, sitting on his lap. The gigantic statue was vandalized and mutilated in 1565 AD during the raid by the Mughals that led to the fall of Vijayanagara Empire. The limbs of Narasimha statue were broken during the attack. The figure of Lakshmi was separated from that of Narasimha. In the process of destruction, one of the hands of Goddess Lakshmi was broken and even today the broken hand of the goddess can be seen resting on the back of Narasimha. Now the damaged statue of Lakshmi resides at the Archaeological Museum at Kamalapura. Okay, now we are at Zanana Closure and it's also called also called as Lotus Mahal and Elephant Stable. The Zenana enclosure was totally restricted to men and only the royal king was allowed to enter the enclosure to meet and spend time with the royal ladies of Vijayanagara empire. The enclosure was guarded by the guards from all the three sides of the three towers. An amazing view of the elephant stable from the top of the Zenana enclosure could be visible. So often the royal woman of the enclosure used to stand on top and enjoy the view of the royal processions and other ceremonies organized in the enclosure also there is an impressive structure here known as the elephant stable which is a long line of 11 domed chambers built with the same indo islamic style of architecture it is also believed that many monuments here which had indo islamic influence were left untouched by the raiding deccan sultanate army Now we are going to Hazara Temple. After going Hazara Temple, we went to have our lunch at Udpi Upahar.
this is the place we are having our lunch. This is our meal. Now we are having fun. Fun. So this is the line for Vijaya Veerabaksha sample. This will be going from electric car, buggies. buggies. As the epic center of Hampi's attraction, Vittala Temple is the most extravagant architecture showpiece of Hampi. No amount of words can explain this spectacle. There are many halls, pavilions and temples located inside this campus. The chariot is built on a rectangular platform. All around this base platform is carved with mythical battle scenes. Though the chariot is not resting on it, the four giant wheels attached mimic the real life ones completely with the axis, shafts and the bricks. A series of concentric flooring motifs decorate the wheels. It appears from the marks of the platform where the wheels rest. The wheels were free to move around the axis. You can still see the remains of painting on the carvings of the chariot, probably because it was relatively protected from the natural wearing mm. elements. The undercarriage of the chariot sports one of the most preserved specimens of this kind of paintings. It is believed the whole of the Vittal temple sculptures were once beautifully painted in similar fashion using the minerals as medium. Now we'll be going to Anjanadri Hills on top.
Okay, I'm the first person to reach in 10 minutes. We left at around 4, I left at around 4.25 and it is 4.40, almost 40 right now. Chalo. Just 2 kilometers away from the Virpaksha temple is the Yantrodarga Hanuman temple. Built by the Dvaita philosopher and the Rajguru of the Vijayanagar Empire, Sri Vyasa Raja about 500 years ago. The temple is the second most important shrine dedicated to Lord Hanuman in Hampi. It is said that Sri Vyasa Raja used to draw a picture of Lord Hanuman on the rocks every day before offering prayers using charcoal and the picture used to disappear after the ritual used to be completed. The Yantrudarka temple is believed to be the place where Sri Ram and Hanuman had met for the first time during the Ramayan period. It is the first installation by Sri Vyasaraja amongst the other 732 Hanuman idol installations. Located on the top of the hill and on the banks of the Tungabhadri river, a part of the river flows into the divine land known as Chakratirtha. We have reached the railway station. So this is the end of the journey, we reached uh, Maragawa railway station and meet you all in my next adventure, see ya!